Hello! In this tutorial, we are going to explain to you in general terms how the Morosa SII tool works. In the following tutorials, you will find information about the specific functions such as invoice editing, ERP reconciliation, batch management, and manual file uploading. First, you will be able to access Morosa SII with your username and password. We can create as many usernames as your company needs. Morosa SII allows you to manage several VAT numbers by the same user. So the first thing you have to do is select the entity you want to consult. If you make a mistake or if you want to change the entity, simply click on the magnifying glass next to the VAT number you are working on. Once you have selected the entity, you can choose to work in test or production. As you know, the tax authority offers a separate web services address and database for testing. In this demo, in the following demos, we will use the test version. You will know which version you are in simply by the colors of Morosa SII and also by the position of the switch. Additionally, in Morosa SII, you can also choose the language of the application. Opting for English will also translate any error messages returned by the tax office on each invoice sent. An important feature of our tool is that it allows you to choose a digital certificate that you use in your transmissions. You only have to inform your Morosa team to upload the digital certificate and associate it with your username. As we explained in the reconciliation tutorial, this will give better visibility and control while maintaining all of the advantages of Morosa SII. If you click on the settings gear, the email you are registered with in your notification preferences will appear. You can add other email addresses to be notified as well. For example, if you are going on vacation, you can include the email address of the person who will be in charge of SII during this time. You can also choose to be notified for each submission or receive an email with a summary of all the submissions at the end of the day. Now let's check the dashboard. Remember that Morosa SII can send invoices manually by importing files or automatically via SFTP or Web Services Transmissions. Well, in this first box, you can download the latest files or batches you have sent. You have the option to access the files sent to the tax authorities or the response files from the tax office for each batch. Furthermore, you can download them in CSV or XML format. You will find the second box useful when it is time to submit your return. You will be able to download the data that the tax office has on your invoices so that you can make sure that your own data matches the tax authority's SII data. The advantage of our tool is that you can choose a range of several months for each book of invoices. These two boxes simply visually show the number of files processed and the number of invoices submitted in the last few days. In this box, the invoice books are submitted manually. You can see our tutorial dedicated to how to submit files manually, and there you'll find all the information about this process. The next box is used to validate the VAT numbers of your clients and suppliers. The good thing about this tool is that it checks each VAT number against two databases. The one from the Spanish authorities for the validation of all Spanish VAT numbers, and the one from the European VAs for intercommunity numbers. You can simply indicate the country and the VAT number, and it will give you the result. Remember that you can check up to 100 VAs numbers for free on our website. As an example, we have included the VAT number of Marosa in the country Spain. We click and see that it is valid in both databases. Finally, in the Generate Model 303 box, you can obtain a draft of your VAT return. This draft is generated with the SII data of the Spanish tax authorities. In other words, the data you have sent to SII through our tool. 
and, should it be the case, through other means. You simply have to choose the period and complete your company's identification data. Here, you can choose whether you want to generate a PDF draft of the return, or if, on the contrary, you prefer to generate a text file. This file can be submitted directly on the tax office's website. In this case, we will download the PDF as an example. By generating this draft, you ensure that the VAT return you are going to submit matches exactly what they expect you to submit. Finally, in the side menu, you can access the details of the invoices, the batches submitted, and, very importantly, the option of reconciliation between your ERP and the SII data of the Spanish tax authorities. In the tutorial section, you will find information about each of these sections. Thank you very much! Remember that for any question you may have, you can write to us through the contact form of your tool.